Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over the entire process of making a Twitch channel in the shortest amount of time possible. So, to step right into things, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to twitch.tv twitch and sign up for an account. You can make your username to be whatever you want, your password to be whatever you want, your set your birth date, and then set your email. Once you have all that done, make sure you don't screw up on the capture like I've done twice in this video already, and hit sign up. Once you have a, a Twitch account made, go to dashboard, click your username and go to dashboard, and click on stream key. Hit show key. That's the first step done. The next step is go to speedtest.net, hit settings, go down here, make sure it's set on kilobits, hit save, go back to the main page and start a speed test. Now that you, the speed test is going, open a new tab and go to OBS. Type Google OBS. Go to the obsproject.com, hit download, make sure you have Windows or whatever your operating system is, and then hit download installer. I have it already installed, so I'm going to open it right here. For you, all these boxes are going to be cleared, but that's no problem. Now that you're here, hit the settings button here, English or whatever language you speak, Setting profile doesn't matter. And then here you're going to want to check this if you want your cursor to show up in the stream. Then we go over to encoding. Make sure it's on X264. Uh, use CL, CBR, all these settings, just like mine. For your max bit rate, you're going to want to make sure you have a number that's less than whatever your upload speed is. So we're just going to let our speed test finish, which it just did. So I have a 12,000 kilobytes per second upload speed. You can set this number to be as high as you want, but you have to keep in mind that your uh, viewers have to have a download speed of at least it also. So you don't want to choose a too ridiculous of a number. So I find 3000 works quite well, but if your internet isn't doesn't have at least a 3000 upload speed, you're going to want to choose a number less. I find 3000 works well and 2000 works well. Copy all the settings here. For broadcast settings, I assume you're going to be wanting to live stream. You can also use OBS to just record your screen. So if you just want to do that, you can hit file output only, but I assume you want a live stream. So pick live stream. Twitch or any website that you want to choose. For the next thing, uh, choose a server that's closest to you. If you're from the UK, choose the London one. If you're from Japan, choose the one from Tokyo. I'm from Washington, so I choose the LA one. Here, your stream key. You're going to want to go back to where you had your stream key on Twitch and just select it, copy it, go back to OBS, and paste that here. You'll want auto reconnect on, a 10 second reconnect timeout, and for your delay, if you're playing a game like, say, League of Legends, and the other people can get advantage by watching your stream, you'll probably want to increase your stream delay to say maybe five minutes so that they can't screen peek. Since I just stream RuneScape, it really doesn't matter that if people screen peek me. So if you want your stream to be saved to a file on your computer so that you can watch it later, you can hit save to stream key, file, <laughs> and then choose location. Video, oh, we didn't actually change anything, no. Okay, the next thing for video, you're gonna wanna choose your graphics card. I have two, so I get two choices, but you should only have one. Um, then choose your resolution. If you want to do 1080p, you can choose that if you have the upload speed, or you can choose 720p. 720p works quite well. If you want downscaled, you can do that. I would say just to record it at 720p and not downscale it. 30 FPS works great. Uh, audio settings should be just like this. Audio isn't as important as video, but you can just copy my settings. And then nothing else really matters here. So you can just hit OK or cancel. I'm just going to hit cancel. OK, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is right click in this box here, hit add scene. For you, you, this will be your first one. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it tutorial, hit OK. And then over in the sources, right click and hit add. Um, we're going to first open the game we want to play, which is RuneScape. We'll just open that up, let it load so we can get to the login screen, and then minimize it. Hit add, 
I'm assuming you're streaming games, so you can hit game capture. We'll just call it game. And then choose what you want it to be. You have to have RuneScape open for it to show up. So we'll put that over there. RuneScape. Change the settings for over what you want them to be. We got RuneScape. Hit add. Um, if you have a webcam, here you can hit video capture device. Type in webcam. This is all good for me. And then preview the stream. Things aren't going to be right, so you're going to want to edit your scene. Hit the edit scene button and shrink down that. For the game, you're going to want to uh, position it so that it is the right size. Let me just uh, log into RuneScape so that you guys can see. Oh, never mind. It's not going to want me to log in. But you can uh, resize it with these little drag things here. Or just right click it and position size and set it to one of the preset things like fit to screen which works quite well and then once you have your stream all set up you can hit stop preview start streaming just like this and then open up your your twitch again go to your profile see that says you're offline right now but in a few seconds it should say that you're online and there we go. We are online streaming in just under six minutes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this sh quick little uh, live stream tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And thank you for watching.